Oh, what a difference a week makes. S&P just broke 4,000. We've gone from three of the most grueling weeks from these growth stocks and all of these stocks that we watched battered and destroyed your portfolio. But now, two days of back-to-back -back games, Biden's infrastructure plan, and a whole lot of optimism surging back into the market. Financial forecaster guys, let's talk about my 2021 goals, where I wanna be at the end of the year, and what I am most bullish on this year. So let's go financial forecaster, S&P 4000. Happy Easter, let's go guys. Like and subscribe, here we go. Ah. All right, guys, so listen here. Everyone has a different goal in mind. I don't know if you're already rich. Anybody rich to me has over a million dollars. I think for anybody watching that, a good benchmark of being wealthy is having over a million in the bank. Now, I don't know if you're in your early 20s, your early 30s, or your early 40s, but everyone should have a goal that they wanna hit. Everyone should have an ambitious goal because you wanna be ambitious. You wanna be able to hit what you can, don't make it unreasonable, but you wanna have a goal in sight that you can work towards, because if you don't, you're just a candle in the wind, baby. You're flickering everywhere. Elton John would be very disappointed in you if this is the case. So, have a goal. My goal, $200,000. Now, this might seem to some like a lot of money, and it seems to others like not a lot of money. Make sure that you're never ever comparing yourself to another person. Please, this is, is, it has caused myself stress when I didn't understand this point. It's caused other people stress. They, they see people in their family. They see people in their friends buying houses. You have to make sure that you're setting goals for yourself and only yourself. When you start comparing them against other people, your financial journey is going to be stressful instead of exciting. So first, don't compare yourself to other people. My goal, $200,000. I have $165,000 right now net worth. A year ago, I had 100,000. So I've been able to save through passive income, through my income itself, and from cutting down and budgeting everything else, I saved $60,000 and added that to my net worth. I'm very happy about that, I'm very blessed, but it took a lot of work. Guys, I walk to work, I buy only things on sale. Any single dime, penny, quarter, loony I find on the side of the streets, that's going right into my savings account. These are the kinds of things, it. It's hard, money, to, to gain money, and to gain at such a rate that you want to make yourself feel fulfilled is, is very hard these days. Man, it's 2021, you guys know this, especially if you're in Canada, and especially if you're in Ontario, you just kiss your, your uh, dreams of buying a house away in this market. It's terrifying, but you can do it. Just make sure that you're, you're, you have a plan. So my plan, $200,000. How I'm going to do this? What stocks I'm putting into? Well, that's what we're going up next. Here is the list. First, bullish pick of the year is TAT. We've gone over TAT. We've gone how they're expanding. We're waiting for about a month until their financial report comes out. We're all excited about Seti Coscarella showing us he's the man, showing us he can bring his vision forward. And hopefully at the Global Chinese Financial Forum, which he will be on April 15th. That's some news, I don't know if you a lot of tat, tat, um, holders know. He will be presenting on April 15th at the Global Chinese Financial Forum. And if that is an indication that they're moving forward with plans in China, then I'm very bullish on that pick. That would be a great move, a great foresight into the future of where they want to put their products. And I don't know about if you guys know how expansive smoking nicotine products in China is and cigarettes in general, it is quite expensive. So that would be quite the boost for TAT, especially if they can get a foothold in, especially if they can partner with another massive uh, tobacco retailer. So my first pick on the list is TAT. I own this many shares. I have this much money invested. And this is my bull thesis for the end of the year. Now I could be completely wrong. I'm just an amateur throwing money into the stock market. But I'm hoping that those numbers come through and that's what I'm putting into my budget. That's how I'm trying to achieve my goal. The next one, Rio can. Like I have my passive income coming in monthly, coming in and boosting my shares every month. This is a stock that is gonna hopefully keep coming into the recovery play, keep having good exposure to all these opening plays, and we wanna see moving forward, we wanna see them sign new tenants, 
get figure out what's going on with all these movie theaters and these gyms and anything where they can find an improvement for their bottom line this is where we're going to want to see it and we're going to keep looking for news on that well updates this is how much i own in rio can this is how many shares i have and this is what my projections for at the end of the year and again i'm going to say it every single time i'm an amateur in the stock market i don't know what's going to happen but this is my budget goal this is my goal where i plan where I think it's gonna be so I can plan my goals and my targets for the year. So that's Rio Can. And my third and final pick is Banksa. Guys, I don't know what's gonna happen with Banksa. It's a fledgling company. It deals in the cryptocurrency space, highly volatile. This company has not proved itself, but it has shown that it's going to experience explosive growth. If this is gonna transfer into revenue and profits for the company, I can't tell you that's gonna happen. I'm betting that it's gonna happen. Every speculative bet you make, is almost like gambling. So this company is exposed to the cryptocurrency play, it's exposed to fine tech, and in my portfolio, especially if I wanna hit my aggressive growth goal of, of 200,000 net worth by the end of the year, I need to take some risks. I'm 32, I have about eight years more, I think, of being able to take these risks in the market and start to grow my net worth to a point where I'm not worrying about financial growth, I'm working about financial um, preservation. You want to you want to get to a point where you're not worried about making money. You're worried about keeping the money you have. So with Banksa, I have this many shares. This is how much it's worth, and this is my growth target. So these are this is where I think it's going to go. Not a financial advisor, guys. I'm going to say it over and over and over again. You should not be taking these picks. You should be taking these picks, researching the company if you like them, or if you're already in them. Just be excited that someone else shares the same bull thesis as you. Like I love watching videos where someone's like. I bought this stock. I like it because, and that's why I'm holding it as well. It's nice to have someone else who believes the same thing you do, but don't let that color your vision. Don't let that sway you into this. If you haven't bought it before, make sure you do your due diligence. So going over this video, because I'm just, I don't have any, there's no news today. The only news today, S and P for a thousand. Awesome, congratulations S&P 4000. We've had two growth days in a row where the NASDAQ has come roaring back and everyone's portfolio has taken a breather after some heavy losses. Fantastic. All the recovery stocks, the stable plays, they've been holding steady. The whole market's been holding steady. So that's awesome too. So there's no big news other than the infrastructure bill. If you guys haven't heard what Biden is proposing, go take a listen. I don't care if you're for Biden, or against Biden. This man is ambitious, and if he is this ambitious and he gets it passed through and they start to deliver on it, America is going to be in a position where it can prosper for 20, 30, 40 years. This is the biggest jump in ambitious infrastructure planning I think I've ever seen the states even attempt. So if you haven't seen infrastructure plan, this is some capital coming into the market. It's gonna stimulate job growth. It's gonna stimulate the economy and it could keep this bull market running, it definitely will keep it running for the next 20, 30 years whenever we have a bear market, whenever we cycle back into a bull market again. So that's my bull thesis, keep investing. It eventually always goes up, allegedly. So, you know, let's, let's go for it. Guys, have a great day, have a great Easter. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you like the comment. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, let's go. All right, financial forecaster, enjoy your weekend. Have a good one.